everyone. Today is May 6th and it is currently 10.37 in the morning right now. And today is the anxiety episode of the Mental Health Awareness Week. Because this is the, gonna be the last few days and I still have the last episode to do tomorrow. So without further ado, let's jump right into this episode. So today in this episode, we are gonna be going over the common anxiety signs and symptoms include this is what we're going to be going over today. Maybe we'll be going over a bonus one later in this episode. I am not 100% sure. But um, without further ado, let's start this episode. And again, I'm sorry if you hear rumbling in the background about my parents watching their show again. I'm sorry if you hear barking in the background or ching, 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 ching. It's the dog scratching. But um, without further ado, it's going to be, might be a noisy video. So I'm sorry about the background noise. But again, I'm going to have the music playing in the background. So, um, yeah, let's start this episode. Sorry about any background noise that you guys might hear in the background, though. But without further ado, let's start this episode. Here we go. So, common anxiety signs and symptoms include <clears throat> feeling nervous, restlessness, restless or tense, having sense of impending, impending danger, panic, or doom, having an increased heart rate, breathing rapidly, hyperventilation, sweating, trembling, feeling weak or tired, trouble concentrating or thinking about anything other than the present worry. Now we're gonna go into this site and read all of them and read all of them off. So without further ado, let's do that. So like I said in the last one, before we get into anything about anxiety, we have to understand it first. So we're gonna read the overview first and then we're gonna start getting into the major stuff. So without further ado, let's read this overview. So experiencing occasional anxiety is a normal part of life. However, people with anxiety disorders frequently have intense, excessive, and persistent worry and fear about everyday situations. Often, anxiety disorders involve repeated episodes of sudden feelings of intense anxiety and fear or terror that reach a peak within minutes. Panic attacks. These feelings of anxiety and panic interference with daily activities, panic interference with daily activities, are difficult to control are out of proportion to the actual danger and can last a long time. You may avoid places or situations to prevent these feelings. Symptoms may start during childhood or the teen years and continue into adulthood. Examples of anxiety disorders include generalized anxiety disorder, social anxiety disorder, social phobia, specific phobias, and separation anxiety disorder. You can have more than one anxiety disorder. Sometimes anxiety results from a medical condition that needs treatment. Whatever form of anxiety you have, treatment can help. Now I'm going to read them off again. Symptoms. Common anxiety symptoms and symptoms include feeling nervous, restless, or tense, having a sense, having a sense of impeding danger, panic, or doom, having an increased heart rate, breathing, breathing rapidly, sweating, trembling, feeling weak or tired, trouble concentrating or thinking about anything other than the present worry, having trouble sleeping, experiencing guests. I know how to pronounce that. Gast gastrointestinal GI problems, having difficulty controlling worry, having the urge to avoid things that trigger anxiety. Several types of anxiety disorders exist. Agoraphobia is a type of anxiety disorder in which you fear and often avoid places or situations that might cause you to panic and make you feel trapped, helpless, or embarrassed. Anxiety disorder to, due to a medical condition includes symptoms of intense anxiety or panic that are directly caused by a physical health problem. Generalized anxiety disorder includes persistent and excessive anxiety and worry about activities or events, even ordinary routine, or even ordinary routine issues. The worry is out of proportion to the actual circumstances, difficult to control, and affects how you feel physically. It often occurs along with other anxiety disorders or depression. Panic disorder. This is the big one. 
Panic disorder involves repeated episodes of sudden feelings of intense anxiety and fear of terror that reach a peak within minutes. Panic attacks, you may have feelings of impeding doom, shortness of breath, chest pain, or a rapid fluttering or pounding heart. heart. Heart palpitations, these panic attacks may lead to worrying about them happening again or avoiding situations in which they've occurred. Selective mutism is a consistent is a consistent failure of children to speak in certain situations, such as school. Even when they feel, even when they speak in other situations, such as at home with close family members, this can interfere with school, work, and social functioning. Separation anxiety disorder is a childhood disorder characterized by anxiety that's excessive for the child's de developmental level and related to a separation from parents or others who have parental roles. Social anxiety disorder. Social phobia involves high levels of anxiety, fear, and avoidance of social situations due to feelings of embarrassment, self-consciousness, and concern about being judged or viewed negatively by others. Specific phobias are characterized by major anxiety when you've ex when you're exposed to a specific object or situation and a desire to avoid it. Phobias provoke panic attacks in some people. Substance-induced anxiety disorder is characterized by symptoms of intense anxiety or panic that are a direct of misusing drugs, taking medications, being exposed to a toxic sub substance, or withdrawal from drugs. Other specified anxiety disorder and unspecified. Hold on. All right, guys, I'm back. All right, so don't worry. Uh, I think we were on seduced substance induced anxiety disorder is characterized by symptoms of intense anxiety or panic that are a direct result of misusing drugs, taking medications, being exposed to a toxic substance, or withdrawal from drugs. Other specified anxiety disorder and unspecified anxiety disorder are terms for anxiety or phobias that don't meet the exact Credera. I'm just going to call it Credera. Credera for any anxiety disorders but are significant enough to be distressing and disturbing and disruptive. Okay, see your doctor if you feel like you're learning too much and it's interfering with your work, relationships, or other parts of your life. Your fear, worry, or anxiety is upsetting to you and difficult to control. You feel depressed, have trouble with alcohol or drug use, or have other mental health concerns along with anxiety. You think your anxiety could be linked to a physical health problem. You have suicidal thoughts or behaviors. If this is the case, seek medical treatment immediately. Your worries may not go away on their own and they may get worse over time if you don't seek help. See your doctor or a mental health provider before your anxiety gets worse. It's easier to treat if you get help early. Causes. The causes of anxiety disorders aren't fully understood. Life experiences such as traumatic events appear to trigger anxiety disorders in which people who are already prone to anxiety inherited traits also can be a factor. Medical causes. For some people, anxiety may be linked to an underlying health issue. In some cases, anxiety, and sim anxiety signs and symptoms are the first indications of a medical illness. If your doctor suspects you, your anxiety have, may have a medical cause, he or she may order tests to look for signs of a problem. Examples of medical problems that can be linked to anxiety include heart disease, diabetes, thyroid problems such as hyper, hyperthyroid, the, hyperthyroid, dang that's a tongue twister, hyperthyroidism, respiratory disorders such as chronic obstructive pulmonary, pulmonary disease, COPD and asthma, drug misuse or withdrawal, withdrawal from alcohol, anti-anxiety medications, I cannot pronounce that, Bets, Benzo, 
ties are the bands. Benzozyme bands. I don't know. I don't know. Ben Zo Day the Binds. How do you even pronounce that? Or other medications. Chronic pain or irritable bowel syndrome. Rare tumors that produce certain fight or flight flight hormones. Sometimes anxiety can be a side effect or certain medications. It's possible that your anxiety may be due to an underlying medical condition. To an underlying medical condition. If you don't have any blood relatives, such as a parent or sibling with anxiety disorder, you didn't have an anxiety disorder as a child. You don't have, you don't avoid certain things or situations because of anxiety. You have a sudden occurrence of anxiety that seems unrelated to life events and you don't have a previous history of anxiety. Risk factors. These factors may increase your risk of developing anxiety disorder. Trauma. Children who endured abuse or trauma or witnessed traumatic events are at higher risk of developing an anxiety disorder at some point in life. Adults experience a traumatic event also can develop anxiety disorders. Stress due to an illness, having a health condition, or serious illness can cause significant worry about issues, such as your treatment and your future. A big event or a buildup of smaller stressful life, life situations may trigger excessive anxiety, for example, a death in the family, work stress, or ongoing worry about fi finances. Personality. People with certain personality types are more prone to anxiety disorders than others are. Other mental health disorders. People with other mental health disorders, such as depression, often also have an anxiety disorder. Having blood relatives with, any ink with an anxiety disorder. Anxiety disorders can run in families. Drugs or alcohol. Drugs, drug or alcohol, use or misuse or withdrawal can cause or worsen anxiety. Complications. Having an anxiety disorder does, does more than make you worry. It can also lead to or worsen other mental and physical conditions such as depression, which often occurs with an anxiety disorder or other mental health disorders. Substance misuse. Substance misuse. Trouble sleeping, insomnia, digestive or bowel problems, headaches or chronic pain, social isolation, problems fluctuating out, school or work, poor quality of life, and suicide. That's the one I've been talking about. Suicide. That's the exact one I've been talking to you all about. And I ain't kidding. I'm not trying to be funny when I say that. Suicide is not something to joke about. I'm, I'm talking to all of you, and including Water Galaxy. I'm talking to Water Galaxy. I'm pointing straight at him through this camera. Water Galaxy thinks it's probably funny. Suicide. I don't know if he thinks it's funny or not. He laughs at everything. But I mean, if he thinks suicide's funny, he's got a problem. Suicide is not nothing to joke about. It is definitely not nothing to joke about, and depression is nothing to joke about either. I, myself, am, what do you call that? I'm not a volunteer for depression, but I stand with depression. I wanna make, I wanna make a strike for depression and stuff. You know what I mean, guys. I wanna do some things for depression. Make depression become more aware to people. Help stop the prevent, prevent suicide, I mean. That's what I meant. That's what I'm trying to say. Prevent suicide. There's no way to predict for certain what will cause someone to develop an anxiety disorder. But you can take steps to reduce the impact of symptoms. If you're anxious, get help early. Anxiety, like many other health conditions, can be harder to treat if you wait. Stay active. Participate in activities that you enjoy and that make you feel good about yourself. Enjoy social interaction and caring relationships, which can loosen. I think that's a lesson. They meant to say loosen your worries, and they put lessen your worries. Let's loosen your worries. 
Avoid alcohol or drug use. Alcohol and drug use can cause or worsen anxiety. If you're addicted to any one of these substances, quit. Quitting can make you anxious if you can't quit on your own. See your doctor or find a support group to help you. That's it. Don't worry, that's TV downstairs at the end. But, um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this anxiety episode. If you guys liked it, smash the like button, turn that notification bell, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one later. Because tomorrow, I found out what I'm going to do for the final episode. And it's something that I really want to do. It's not like, it's not another talk video, don't worry, it's not another talk video, it's a video video. It's a music video. With no actors, no actors, it's just music. It's gonna be for depression, it's gonna be for mental health awareness, all that. But, um, all of you stay safe, get outside, and let's beat this virus, coronavirus. Let's also stop suicide, prevent suicide. Let us help. If you are. That's now, see, if you are experiencing. Suicidal thoughts or anything of that, please seek medical help immediately. Stop taking your life. Just stop. Stop taking your life. There's more. To, there's more. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Just seek help. Stop thinking. Stop saying there is no help. There is light. You guys don't. You guys just don't see it. All of you out there who are watching who have depression and you don't think that there's light at the end of the tunnel, you need to seek medical help immediately, right now after you watch this video. Because if you don't, bad things are going to happen. And possibly you'll commit suicide. And that will not be funny. Our number one thing in the world is suicide right now. Suicide is killing millions of people around the world. Each and every year, each and every day, people are committing suicide. Each and every day we lose someone to, to taking their life from depression. And trust me, it's not funny. It's not, guys. It's not. It's actually, absolutely not funny. But, that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, smash the like button, turn that notification bell, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one later. Love you all. Peace. And bye.